Hi, this is Phil from PDQ Merchant Enterprises and the ATM Mastermind Group page. And in today's video, we're going to go with top five reasons an ATM business fails. Always remember that we have an A to Z course that teaches you from A to Z how to be successful in the ATM business and how to get into the ATM business. We also have an ATM Mastermind Group page that's free to join for like-minded individuals just like yourself who want to learn a little bit more about the ATM business and be in a like-minded ATM community with other ATM business owners. All right, so here we go. Top five. Number five, we're doing a countdown, something new, we're changing it up. I'm excited, I hope you guys are too. All right, number five, the location agreement does not protect yourself. Phil, what does that mean? You gotta put little things in your location agreement that protects your company. Like, what happens if somebody hurts themselves on your ATM? Who's liable? What happens if uh, there's a disputed charge? How, does, how do you handle that? What happens if you wanna remove the ATM? Things of that nature. You have to put specific things in your agreement, sometimes in, in split details. A lot of times people put this trial 90 day in their ATM agreement. That's a silly thing. That leaves the door open for renegotiation. So don't do that. But you got to have a location agreement that protects your company at all times. And that is one of the biggest things that people fail at. Number four, the ATM location agreement should have a split arrangement. And what happens is now you go into the business, you're excited about putting your ATM and one of the things you fail at is the split. We're trying to make money, not place an ATM. So the split's got to be very encouraging to, for you guys to make money. So my goal is always to try to tell you somewhere between 10 and 30% max. But what happens is you go in, you're excited about putting an ATM in and then you give too much away. So you give too much away is the number four reason why an ATM business fails. Remember, it should be between 10 and 30%, not 50%. Number three, you grow too fast. You get excited, which I'm, I'm all for excitement. You get excited, you place it in a location, let's call it a barbershop, and now you go and you get another location and you place it somewhere else, maybe a, a, a nail salon, and now the barbershop changes the way they're doing business and a nail salon didn't turn out to be a good location. You got two ATMs you pay thousands of dollars for and they're not turning the revenue that we need to. So now you're like, I can't afford, I got a grocery store, it seems like it's gonna be a home run and I can't, I don't have enough money to go into that. We have to make sure that, you know what, it's not about the placement, it's always about the revenue stream, the transactional volume. You have to have the right transactional volume for you to be successful. So get out of those locations if this is happening to you right now and get into a location that does a lot of transactional volume. Number two, you don't have training. I'm a big advocate of training. So much so that we put together an A to Z course that teaches you how to be successful. And what happens is a lot of times people go to YouTube, they listen to information and it's, they don't understand what the information is. They think they got it all. They just need that little bit of push to be set between failure and success that would save them but they, they say, oh, I got all the information, and they go out and they make mistakes. They listen to people who haven't been in the ATM business in a long time. I'm not the only one in this arena. There's a lot of people that have good information out there, but you gotta know who they are. So get the training, we're going into business so we can change our family dynamics, so we can add value to our family and ourselves, add that little bit of extra money every month. It's a total game changer. So take the time, take the effort, Go get information from people who know what they're talking about. And number one, I say it all the time, please remember, you didn't set up a corporation, an S corporation. You got your LLC, or you say, hey, I just did a DBA, you, or you put it under your own name, you manipulated the banks, so you're getting the, the money into the bank account under a personal name or a DBA, and now you don't have anything to attach not only your location agreement to, but the bank, because the bank will say, oh, after a given amount of time, they're gonna shut you down. Now you, now you have to get another bank account, and now you can't get another bank account. So the money's going nowhere, and now wherever your ATM is, it's having a challenge keeping it filled, because now you can't get the money out of the bank. So this is gonna be a problem. It's the biggest problem. You gotta protect yourself in the beginning. Make sure you're set up with a corporation so you can get that bank account, and you don't get shut down. 
All right, I got one more tip. We're gonna put that tip over at the ATM Mastermind group page. So I'll see you guys over at the ATM Mastermind group page. Thank you very much.